Today I'm gonna answer your questions about um, what you can do and what your response will be in uh, times of uncertainty. Um, many of you said um, life may seem uncertain in times and uh, 2020 taught us a lot about uncertainty. We all know that in God's truth and for our eternity in Christ, we are certain. We know where we go. We know we belong to the Lord, but many other factors in our lives are a bit uh, unpredictable and unclear, to say the least, at times. It's the nature of our journey here. Uh, we cannot avoid uncertainty in this life but we can respond to it in a Christ-honoring way and a soul-profiting manner. Um, <clears throat> some of you uh, said, or a few of you said, the only certainty in life is uncertainty. Um, well, we hope that COVID-19 will be defeated, that the vaccine will work, that the election will be clear from fraud or stealing or any other illegal entity, and uh, that soon we will have uh, final results. We hope, but we are not certain. The good news is that with God, we are certain that he is in control. Um, Psalm 139, 12 said, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. This is what God is doing in our life. And yes, God's light will shine in our darkness. How do I know this? Is because I live under uncertainty and I live under um, hard circumstances in my life. You can read in my book, Saving My Assassin. And I'm talking from my own experience with God. I remember living under uncertainty in Romania under a dictator um, who declared himself God and required us to worship him alone. Going to church was risky. Having a Bible or sharing your own Bible with others was followed many times by you being put in jail by the government or uh, killing you for that. Um, the government will have uh, spies even in uh, uh, in the church and many times we didn't know even if it was very risky to go to church going there it was very risky because you didn't know if around you you had a brother or sister in Christ or a spy of the government the government also required um, our children to report the parents if the parents said something negative about the government all Christians were at a great risk. Everything was uncertain. The government and its regime believe that uh, had full control over us. Many times, maybe they thought that we might look hopeless to them, but we are not. As children of God, we are protected. We are many times placed under fire, like the three young people in the fire, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, but God miraculously saved us. If you read my book, Saving My Assassin, you will be convinced about this. After all, I am alive and the dictator is dead. Your life might not be in, uh, controlled by a dictator, but cannot be controlled by your uncertainty, but by God who is unchangeable and he is ready to help us. You see, in the light, we are unconscious of our limitation. We believe that we can do everything. But when the night descends, our hopelessness takes hold of us and makes us cry out to God. And God shows up in a miraculous ways. Faith thrives in a dark and darkness or under uncertainty. When we see our way, we have no need for faith. But when darkness and uncertainty surrounds us, then fate receives her opportunity 
So give faith the opportunity. Faith is the most important ingredient in a life that pleases God. Read Hebrew 11.6. I will share with you a few steps that you can do during your uncertain time. But if you need any question, if you have any questions or need any help after that, please go to virginiapradanabooks.com slash contact. Tell us your needs and we will help you. So under circumstances, you can do this. Number one, seek God as your creator and your sustainer. Sustain, trust God's character in the unpredictable season of your journey. When our lives are shaken and disrupted, it is time to remember that God is the creator, that everything in this world was created by him and everything is under his control. We can pray for good results for the election, for healing in your life, in the life of America, for um, um, virus, uh, COVID-19 to be stopped, for violence to be stopped, knowing that God is in control. So that's number one, seek God as your creator and sustainer. Number two, pray to the God of all comfort. We all recognize, and many of you sent me uh, notes and said this is an uncomfortable time, even a frightening time. And God is the God of all comf comfort. When you hear all the news about fraud or stealing votes or computer switching votes uh, like never before in, in America, yes, it makes all of us uncomfortable. When um, you hear about a situation when people uh, have uh, COVID-19 and some of them died, yes, it's uncomfortable. But God is a God of comfort and he will bring comfort to us in case of, you know, when we have someone died uh, from COVID-19 or when we think about asking God and um, praying and asking God to bring comfort and the truth in this election. God is the God of all comfort. Remember 2 Corinthians. It says, God is the God of comfort who comfort, comforts us in all our troubles. So we can comfort those in any troubles with the comfort we ourselves receive from him. So during this time, trust God's heart, receive his comfort, and reach out to others to be able to uh, comfort them with the comfort that you receive from God. Be a river of God's comfort, not only in your life as you receive it, but give it to others that might be in need of this. Number three, after you receive that comfort and you receive God's wisdom and, uh, and uh, strength, act on God's wisdom and strength. Remember Psalm 149. In 149, 6, God says, Praises should be on our mouth and double-edged sword on our heads. We have to um, rely on God's wisdom, on his strength, and we have to be people of action, doers of his word, fighting against fraud, bringing the truth in this election, fighting against COVID-19 and handling riots um, and violence and terrorists and huge changes that needs to be um, in, uh, um, made in our government or even in our life. God's Spirit, Spirit provides wisdom and strength to each one of us. He gives strength to his people to the weary and he sustained his, his people. Let's ask God to sustain workers and those in government and our authorities from local to the White House, that they will um, um, take God's wisdom and power and apply 
uh, what needs to be for this election and for our government, that those in authority you know, will do this process in God's power and they will uh, call on God's strength and God's wisdom. And number four, as we pray for people in our government and in our authority to do what is right with, in God's wisdom, number four is let Christ light, his light of the world, guide your actions. We have to be part of the process. The darker the, uh, the surrounded are around us, the brighter the light that is in us, Christ will, will shine under difficulties and hard situations. So this is a great opportunity for us to shine for Christ, to tell the truth, to tell the truth in love and be, be a doers, act on his. We have to find practical ways to demonstrate Christ's love, truth, and comfort to those around us because Christ is our creator, our truth, our comforter, our wisdom, and our light. Colossian, uh, Colossians 1, 17 says, in him in Christ, all things hold together. So we have to be united with Christ and in his love, share the truth and the comfort, the wisdom and light that comes from him in us and uh, share it with others under those uncertain times. We can trust him, even though his way seems ambiguous right now. We might not have the whole blueprint that he is able to provide us. He will never provide us the blueprint. He will provide day by day, minute by minute actions that we have to apply faith that will strengthen us, wisdom that will make us even wiser than our enemies. And uh, in our walk with him, we will um, be victorious because he won the victory on the cross and he is in charge of everything. So during this uncertainty, be uh, sure of God's certainty that he provides hope, he provides everything that you need for this, this time. You just have to be in connection with Christ and in connection with other, other bro brothers and sisters. So therefore, thank him, thank him in advance for his love, for his provision, for his answers, for his protection. Remember Psalm 91, and all he is asking us is to make him our dwelling place and remain under his wings. And he provides the rest, the protection, the directions that nothing will um, come near our tent, that he will provide us not only with uh, protection during uncertainty, but he will provide us with a long life. He will satisfy us with a long life. What a wonderful promise. Most importantly is don't give up. Do not give up. If you need any help, please, please go to virginiapradanbooks.com slash contact. Tell us what you need and we'll be more than happy to help you during this time of uncertainty. His answers are uh, on, on the way. His answers and miracles are not part of the past, something that you read in the Old Testament or even in the New Testament. His answers and his miracles will be uh, coming your your way. In many ways, they are already in your way and in my, my life, but sometimes we do not see them because we expect them to be in a different way. So pray that God will open our eyes to see already his answers and miracles and how we can uh, hold on this truth and miracles and answers during this uh, uncertain time. He is 
uh, a God of, uh, that controls everything. Um, I will say today more than any other day, because we celebrate Veterans Day, which should uh, be just like those soldiers for their soldiers for God, many of them, but their soldiers also for our country. And they preserve freedom, they preserve um, um, faith, and they preserve what America stands for. We should take example for them in our actions that when we are enrolled in God's army and we are soldiers in God's army, we are um, on, on a path to victory. We are on a path to uh, be protected by the general of the general who is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Until next time, Wednesday and Saturday, 10 o'clock um, Central Time, I hope that you will remember that in uh, the uncertainty, you have to grab and you have to trust the character and the heart of the uncertain one, the one who never changes, Christ, the Lord and Savior. Until next time, God bless you and keep in touch. Bye-bye.